So the Estes Wizard on an A3, 13 millimeter motor, using the Estes 13 to 18 millimeter motor adapter, turned in a excellent flight here. This was the first flight of the rocket since we glued the fin back on in the uh, fin repair tutorial. So if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you check it out. It appears that that repair was successful. Yes, excellent takeoff there. I love the uh, smoke trail on this motor. It's a reload for the 29-40-120 Aerotech hobby casing. Just an excellent flight. Great motor. Looks good. Okay, so that was the first flight ever of that rocket. It actually comes as a two-stage kit, but I only built it as a one-stage. And it did what it was supposed to. It's a good flight, a good first flight. Yeah, that D12, that took it up a lot higher. I like that D12. And a successful parachute recovery on that flight. All right, so let's take a closer look at what happened. I believe this might have been a drag separation, which is where the uh, bottom part of the rocket separates from the nose cone or the payload as the motor burns out due to the drag forces. Uh, it looks like that might be what happened. So to test out this theory, for the next flight, I put some tape around the shoulder of the nose cone and it did have a perfect flight, so maybe that was it. Still not completely sure, but probably was. I'll note that the nose cone that I used was not the nose cone that came with the kit because I unfortunately lost that somehow in my area where I work on my rocks. I don't know where it went. So I used the nose cone from the Wizard, which may have just been too loose and needed that tape to stay on if that's uh, what the issue was. Yes, love that takeoff. Another uh, Black Max motor. Great smoke trail. And it's a good recovery. It's kind of a small parachute for that rocket, but it works. Alright, we've seen this rocket before. 
And so we had a tangle on the parachute here. Another mailing tube rocket. See that motor did not have a whole lot of smoke in it because it's a blue thunder motor. Quite different from the Black Max motor. But it provides a very quick and exciting takeoff though. And this rocket had a good recovery as well. There it is. Looks good. Okay, the B6 6Q jet in the high flyer. Great motor for this rocket. I'm definitely going to try that one again. And the D12 and the Vapor, very beautiful and majestic. Doesn't really go that high on that motor, but it's not a bad flight. Okay, so that was a pretty good set of rocket launches. We saw the Estes Wizard make its first flight back after getting its fin repaired, and it did well. I want to note that I still haven't flown the multi-rock since the fin repair I did in that video, but I am excited to fly it again because when I do fly it again, I'll probably fly it with a 13 millimeter motor in the sustainer like I did with the uh, Whiplash 2 that we saw in this video. I never uh, tried staging a 18 millimeter motor to a 13 millimeter motor and uh, it looks like it works fine. So that'll really help with uh, future two-stage launches with trying to keep the rockets closer to the launch pad. And speaking of two-stage rockets, the uh, Custom Rocketry Galaxy is supposed to be a two-stage rocket, but as I said in the video and as we saw, I only built it as a one-stage rocket and uh, I built the motor tube or the motor mount assembly too close to the, to the back of the rocket, so I won't be able to make it into a two-stage rocket. And I really regret it. I wish I would have made it as a two-stage rocket. Uh, maybe I'll have to get another one and build it as a two-stage rocket. I, I already have a lot of one-stage rockets with 24 millimeter motor mounts that are about that same size as we've seen in some of my videos because I really think that's a good size because once you jump up to the 24 millimeter motor size, there's a lot more different motors available to choose from. And uh, with uh, 18 millimeter motors, there's not really a whole lot to choose from. Just like we've seen with the Estes Wizard, I've only flown it on an A83 and an A3, which is a 13 millimeter motor, because there's not really a lot of different options in the A motor range as far as trying to see different types of flights. Uh, other points I want to make is the uh, the high flyer on the Quest B6 Q jet was really a great motor combination. I I mentioned that in the video when we saw it, but I want to just say it again for emphasis. I'm definitely going to try this motor again in this rocket, and uh, it didn't go so high that basically it got lost in the sky. It was, it was the right altitude for uh, performance. The uh, stability was a little bit marginal. Uh, it was a little bit shaky on the way up, or it didn't, didn't fly exactly straight. So I'll be interested to replicate that again, or excuse me, repeat that launch again and see if it's a little bit more stable on the next go around. And the last point I want to make is the uh, Estes Vapor on the D12 was, it was a beautiful flight, but in my opinion for that rocket, I like to do some faster burning motors, the like composite motors than versus doing the D12. The, uh, the D12 um, is, is more of a slower burning as, as well as the uh, Estes E motors or slower burning motors 
they do well in rockets with uh, larger fins and don't look like they're supposed to go so fast. And uh, the Estes Vapor looks like it's a rocket that's supposed to go back, go fast, excuse me. So uh, that's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, like the video and uh, subscribe for uh, future videos to come. We'll see y'all later.